Guilty of genocide. That is the verdict for the former leader of the Bosnian Serbs. Radovan Karadzic was sentenced to 40 years in prison. A special UN court in The Hague also found Karadzic guilty of other crimes. All of the charges stemming from a war that claimed some 100,000 lives. It began in 1992 and lasted until 1995. CCTV's Nathan King joins us now live from the newsroom with more. Yeah, it was a horrible war and it's taken over 20 years to get to this verdict. The first genocide conviction against a European since the aftermath of World War II. Once one of the most feared men in Eastern Europe, Radovan Karadzic stood silently as the verdict was read. Guilty of the following counts. Count two, genocide. Count three, persecution, a crime against humanity. Count four, extermination, a crime against humanity. Count five, murder, a crime against humanity. Count six, murder. Karadzic led the Bosnian Serbs in the three-year bloody war that saw some of the worst atrocities committed since World War II in Europe. Atrocities like the 44-month siege of Sarajevo, and the massacre of 8,000 Muslim men and boys in the town of Srebrenica. Under United Nations protection at the time, the town was overrun by Bosnian Serb troops. Nearly all the men old enough to fight were systematically slaughtered. Reja Adamovic lost many of her family, including her husband. His body has not been completely recovered. In fact, there were very little remains. I've also lost my two sons and a brother among my close relatives. I'm not even counting the sons of my aunts and uncles who were killed. There are just so many. And at last, 20 years later, outside the court, a sense of justice. This judgment is important for Bosnia, but it's also important for the rest of the world because it will send a message that crimes are punishable and that they should not be denied because the victims they are waiting and have been waiting for so long and the least that we can do is acknowledge these crimes and not deny them. Radovan Karadzic was on the run until 2008 when captured he was disguised by a huge white beard. During the trial he conducted his own defense and called many witnesses claiming his innocence. He's the highest official yet to be found guilty of war crimes connected to the Bosnian war Ratko Mladic, the military commander of the Bosnian Serbs, is also facing charges of genocide and is currently under trial at The Hague too. Radovan Karadzic was actually acquitted of one count of genocide and his lawyer says he will appeal the other ten convictions. But given his 40 year sentence, it's likely Karadzic will actually spend the rest of his life behind bars. But many people in the courtroom who had been victims of his crimes and also relatives who died thinks 40 years was not enough, Mike. Nathan, thanks so much.